So, Exo Man, uh, you had a little adventure while I was gone. I did. This weekend. I did. And something that you've been so skeptical about. I. Maybe not so much anymore. I am the ultimate skeptic. <laughs> I wanna. I wanna. Think, about everything, <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> I wanna think that I'm still a skeptic, but it's. It's become difficult. We have known people, and I've had friends in the past that have been psychics, and they really know things, I think. And they just pick it up. It's just like an energy that they have developed the ability to be able to pick it up and to tell people things about themselves that they would have never known. This is what I mean, you, the this psychic is what would have never said known anything years. about it. And, and this is what I used to kind of believe and wanted to believe, but over the years I've just grown skeptical. <laughs> I considered it a healthy skepticism. Yeah. However, oh, it's raining pretty hard. Yeah. However, my skepticism was really challenged while you were out of town. You, you had a bunch of escapades, but <laughs> I guess we're just going to discuss this one. When Farm Girl was out of town, I visited, among other places, a winery that I like to visit. I love to go to. Go to. <laughs> <laughs> and a friend of mine who owns it said, why don't you talk to the psychic? Now this is a casual friend and she doesn't know my background. I don't, I've not sat and told her about my background. And it's not like they would have expected you there. They weren't expecting me, and I've never met I've never met the psychic anyway, so it's been a while. Any of those things are moot and meaningless. There was no setup. It was just a happenstance thing. She said, Hey, we have a psychic tonight. Why don't you go sit with them? Twenty dollars. I said, You know what? Why not? <laughs> well, the thing that I'm mo most skeptical about. Yeah. I should give them an opportunity to impress me. You wanted to just prove, prove that that was true, that they didn't get any hits. So what I've always said is there's a reason why we don't know those things. There's a reason why we can't pierce the veil. We can't look beyond. We can't communicate with people who are no longer in their bodies. I, I, my mindset is that you leave your body, you become energy again. And you're not a persona that you were. But it's still energy in an energy field that's probably still around but you. But why would it have an identity like that? Why would the energy, the energy that is me right now, if it left this body, why would it not, why would it carry memory or identity with it? What is I the purpose I just think it does. It, because it's, it's everything. It's it's all thoughts. Obviously, we're not we're not the kind of people that believe you go to heaven or hell or stuff like that. That's all. That's just too cartoonish for us. It's not. Yeah. It, it, we're not putting religion down, but we're. It's yeah. just not. It's just not believable stuff. It's like there are billions of people over the course of humanity that what is there like just this gargantuan place in the clouds where a bunch of people. <laughs> are forever who they were in life. That's just no. that doesn't work for me. Yeah. And neither does the neither did the maintaining your individuality after death. I and such was my skepticism. However, <laughs> I sat with this woman who I'd never met, and by the way, I recorded this. And it was one of those instances where there were no expectations. Yeah, you expected her to fail. <laughs> I expected her to BS the hell out of me. Try to, anyway. And I wasn't going to give anything. I wasn't going to be disrespectful. I consider it a craft, and I, have, I, have, I had some respect. I'm like, this is the thing that she does. Her chosen thing. And I'm just going to let her do it and see what happens. So I sat with her. And she explained to me how it worked. And she explained to me that she was a medium. And... Uh, she talked to people who were no longer here, and she said, and as such, they no longer have a body, so they 
no longer have a voice box, so they no longer communicate in that fashion. Right, they don't talk to her. But rather they give her she impulses and words. imagery and things yeah. like that. And I said, okay, fair enough, but you're sure as hell not, you're going to be guessing and you're not going to know anything about me. And I, it just, you said that to her? No, of course not. I was very <laughs> respectful, but that's, that's just kind of how I feel. And I wasn't in a bad mood. I wasn't yeah. cocky or anything. I just was yeah. like, let's see what happens. Yeah. So she explains how it works, and she says it's not the devil or anything like that. It's just spirits that have passed it. May, she said, I think she said usually it's a need more than a want, yeah. that there is a need to communicate something or tell you something. Anyhow, so she starts talking, and she asks a couple of things and says, or suggests a couple of things and says, does this mean anything? And I said, no. Nope. And then she said, there are three boys. There are three <laughs> boys, just like that. She blurts that out and, does that mean anything? And I said, yes, because <laughs> I am of three boys. Not there, given much. There were three and I was the youngest. And she said, um, she said a few other things. What did I tell digging, you? Digging, digging, digging. She started saying digging, digging, digging. Just like that. Like she does her spirit thing and she's like digging, digging, digging. And I'm like, okay. She said, I don't know why. I'm getting digging, digging, digging. Does that mean anything to <laughs> you? Your mom to used to always say And my mom <laughs> used to say to me, Jason, if you don't get an education, you're going to dig ditches for the rest of your life. <laughs> How many times have I quoted her? Yes. And he's always digging. And I'm always digging. Anyway, now. The irony. Or something. Life is rich with irony. And in my life, I have dug more than most grown men do. <laughs> I don't know why. I just find myself digging trenches for wiring, trenches for plumbing, digging in the garden, on the farm, digging foundations, digging, digging, digging. That's I'm why always you need digging. a big tractor. And she says, <laughs> digging, 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 and there's a time capsule. So, Which I really didn't even know about, or I had forgotten. All right, so I buried that story. I'm, I'm one, I don't know how many people have done this in their lifetime. Probably not a whole lot on a personal level. I personally, as a 16 or 17 year old, buried a time capsule. It was very, it was very elaborate. <laughs> Mason jar, waxed the seal, waxed it up, covered it with wax, wrapped it with plastic and Put a little note in Layers there. Layers of plastic. I put watch. a watch and some money and a note. Very juvenile stuff. And I buried that. Somebody's going to probably has dug that up since the mid-70s. How much money? <laughs> probably thousands. Yeah, I'm sure. So, so I buried a time capsule. And my mom, I had this connection with my mom about dig. She, when I was, she, her, one of her favorite pictures was me as a baby sitting in a hole in the backyard in uh, California. And she said, you ate that hole. <laughs> you dug that dirt and you, that hole. You had dirt all and over And I had dirt mouth. all over my face. That I had little so overalls cute. on. Little, you know, little, little baby. Guy. And I had a smile on my face and dirt dripping down my mouth. And I had a bag of dirt in my hand. That's why you're so healthy. Like it was popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> because you ate dirt. So digging, digging, digging. And then she said, <laughs> And then she said, um, this is a loving woman. This is a very special woman. And yeah. she started describing my mom. Yeah. She said, I'm, I, did I say she's getting a woman? She was picking up a woman. I'm getting a yeah. woman. Like, uh, it's funny that she didn't say anything about a male figure. I called my dad my estranged dad who, yeah. who died, and I didn't even yeah. know it when he died for years. Anyway, so she hit on the digging thing. And she hit on the time capsule, and then she says, I'm getting Elizabeth. <laughs> Which is his mom's name. She blurts out my mom's name. She blurts it out just when she's randomly talking and doing her mediumship thing. How could thing. she know that? She says, I'm getting Elizabeth. She picked it out of the ether. Elizabeth, the three boys. Are you, are you one of three boys? And I said, yep. And Elizabeth means something. And I confirmed, I didn't want to give her a whole lot of confirmation because I didn't want to lead her down a path. I said, yeah, that, that means something. And she just kept getting hits. Yeah. She didn't throw, she wasn't throwing, she named not one other person. Yeah, that's amazing. 
She doesn't say, I'm getting a Karen, I'm getting a Joanne, I'm getting a, tell me if I'm getting warm. She just blurted out, I'm getting Elizabeth. Yeah. And that blew my mind. Yeah. And she's talking about all these, all the messages that she were giving me were related to my mom. And she thought you were the one that thought of outside the box. Yeah, isn't that special? She said, yes. that was my mom's favorite. You no, were her favorite. That's not fair. Yes, you were her favorite. But she said, your mom, <laughs> I'm, get, I'm getting this. This is your mom. She's giving me a message. She's saying you were the you were the one. She said you were her one that thought outside of the box before thinking outside of the box was a thing. Yeah. So that was pretty interesting. I had to, I had a closer relationship with I was around her. I took care of her when she was older. Yeah. But Me took care of her. I, I don't know. I, I, I just can't. I want to <laughs> still be skeptical, but in the face of that, it's pretty damn hard. Yeah. Well, my friend Silvana knew stuff. I mean, she would me say that. stuff to me, and I was like, what? How? There's it, no way she could know that. It just didn't work in it's my belief amazing. system. But when I'm sitting there and a woman is, is, and there was nothing specific. There was no specific message. She just wanted, she said, your mom wants to tell you that you can do no wrong. You can't, what did, what did she say? You listened to the recording. She said, you, she just, it was just a message of love and acceptance and you're, and you're a good person and you're doing good things. And yeah. you, you, you could, uh, something to that effect. And. Just a very warm, happy message, but no, nothing specific. And she said something about uh, up and down the ninety-five, up and down the ninety-five. <laughs> and she, she, she which said, is where we drove last weekend. And she named upstate New York. I don't know what that. Which is about, where I'm from. Which is where you're from. So, anyway, psychic stuff, psychics, mediumship, those kind of things. Let's just say, I'm a lot, I'm a lot less skeptical. <laughs> Ghosts. Yeah. Yeah. How many? How much grief have I given you about those well, things? We had a ghost in this house when we moved in here. <laughs> her name was Cindy. Yes. Yeah. And she used to slam the door and turn the lights on and off. And mm -hmm. ugh, yeah. <laughs> but she just left. She was kind of a nice ghost, but. Anyway, I think <laughs> I, I, think I might I might uh, entertain the idea of seeing a psychic. Yeah, I want to. 20 I never bucks. Have. I mean, what did it get me? It got me nothing but... I paid the lady... Got you addicted. I paid... <laughs> I basically paid the lady $20 to prove to me that I was wrong oh. and she was right. <laughs> <laughs> to valid... I'm, so I'm paying you 20 bucks to validate your profession. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Well, I thought it was interesting, so... Well, and I think some of them are not really real. Mm -hmm. I, I think that they've tried to develop it, but they don't really have it. Yeah. I think it's, it's kind of a gift to be able to tap into all the information. All right. So, and I woke up one morning in Anaheim, California, and I had had horrible dreams of devastation. Oh, yeah. Buildings falling down and fire raging and, and, and things moving. And I woke up and I turned on the news and what had happened? The Kobe earthquake. Kobe. Kobe, Kobe. Japan Kobe. had just had a horrific <laughs> earthquake and massive loss of life. Yeah. And I dreamed it while it was happening. So yeah. there's some sort of connection with a realm. You, you felt the seismic energy. A matrix. I think it, I think it probably it does. Sense. I think it may be as simple as that. The seismic energy moves through, this, through the realm of... Yeah, because sometimes you'll wake up and whatever noise you're hearing was in your dream, yeah. or you know, if there's any movement. Right. I made it. I wrapped a dream of devastation around it because my psyche yeah. picked up that that whatever was moving through the earth, yeah. maybe humans can sense that kind of s seismic activity, not yeah. psychic, but seismic. We're all and, vibrating. Yeah, as a warning <laughs> system or something. Anyway. That's the story. It's very interesting. And I have, I have in my and life. And he went to my favorite restaurant that night. I've witnessed without a lot me. Of, <laughs> I had to do something while you were. <laughs> You're like, what would farm girl like to do? 
<laughs> I'm gonna do that. That's neither here. It's nor okay. There. You're allowed. Yeah. You're allowed. I want right. you to have fun. Well, that's our chat about psychic activity and psychics. What do you think about the psychic <laughs> world and mediumship and things like that and tarot card reading and all Exo that? Exo man's stuff. still on the fence, obviously, but well, I was a I'm, little bit more. I'm damn impressed. Yeah. The woman blurted out my mother's name, which is not a very common name. Not and anymore. she didn't name any other person. She didn't name any men except yeah. brothers. She, yeah. she called three boys. Yeah. So, all right. Good talk, farm girl. Good talk, Exa man.